When it comes to beauty and cosmetic products, there are very few names that go as far back as Avon. With a history dating back over a century, the company has been one of the biggest names in the direct selling industry and has been a symbol of empowerment for millions of women worldwide. From its modest origins to its global reach today, its remarkable evolution, its global impact, as well as its controversies, we will talk about it all in this video. So, without further ado, let's get straight to it. The roots of Avon trace back to the late 19th century when David H. McConnell founded the California Perfume Company in 1886. McConnell was actually a book salesman in New York who went door to door to sell his books. Since his books weren't selling that well, he tried to boost sales by offering little samples of perfume to his potential customers. His customers were mostly housewives as in the 80s, it was usually them who would stay at home during the day, which was also the time when he went door to door selling. During this time, he realized that it was actually the perfumes that garnered more interest from customers than his books. His realization was what marked the start of California Perfume Company, which eventually transformed into a beauty and cosmetics company. By 1939, the company was officially renamed Avon Products Incorporated, inspired by the birthplace of William Shakespeare, called Stratford upon Avon. The name change symbolized the company's ambition to bring its products to every corner of the world, just like the works of William Shakespeare. One of the most unique features of Avon is its direct selling model. Avon uses brochures and door-to-door -door salespeople to advertise and sell its products. Most of Avon's salespeople are women, particularly housewives who are interestingly called the Avon ladies. This strategy of the company is known to have empowered women to become entrepreneurs by allowing them to sell its products directly to consumers, often within their own communities. This approach not only provided women with income opportunities, but also fostered a sense of community and empowerment within them. Avon's global expansion gained momentum in the 1950s, with the company venturing into new markets and adapting its strategies to suit local cultures. In 1954, Avon entered Mexico, marking its first step beyond the United States. Avon has been great at adapting and tailoring its strategies to suit the specific needs and cultural nuances of the regions it enters. This allowed the company to operate and thrive across areas, including Asia, Europe, and Latin America. Today, Avon sells its products in over a hundred countries, and guess in which country it sells the most? The answer is Brazil. Yes, Brazil is the company's largest market. Anyway, back to Avon's business model. We've already touched upon Avon's direct selling model. Another thing that Avon is renowned for is its wide range of affordable beauty products. The company's product offerings have evolved from the days of just fragrances to now include a wide range of skincare, makeup, and personal care items. Avon's growth was also fueled by the strategic mergers and acquisitions it made along its journey. In 1999, Avon acquired Silpada, a jewelry brand known for its sterling silver pieces. This expanded the company's product portfolio to include accessories. This move diversified Avon's offerings even more and tapped into a different niche within the beauty and fashion industry. In 2016, Avon took a bold corporate decision by splitting its North American operations from the global entity. This decision allowed Avon to focus on its core international markets where the direct selling model continued flourishing. The new North American company became a separate entity responsible for Avon's operations in the United States, Canada, and Puerto Rico, while Avon Products Inc. retained its global presence. This split made things smoother and helped Avon fine-tune its strategies to match the unique needs of both North American and international markets. It was all about setting Avon up for better growth and flexibility. And the latest acquisition took place in January 2020 when Natura and Company acquired Avon Products Inc. The Natura and Company group also includes Natura, Aesop, and The Body Shop. And with the acquisition of Avon, has created one of the world's largest pure play beauty companies. These strategic decisions in Avon's history show us that the company is willing to adapt and undertake whatever is required to keep itself relevant in the fast evolving beauty industry. But just like any large company, Avon too has had its fair share of controversies. Let's talk about a couple of them. 
Beginning in 2008, the company encountered legal issues related to allegations of bribery and corruption in its international operations. The conduct of various employees and executives of Avon were investigated for possible violations of the law, including bribery and violations of the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. In 2014, Avon settled the bribery charges by paying a huge amount of fines, totaling to $135 million. Avon has also, like many beauty companies, faced controversies and scrutinies regarding its stance on animal testing for its products. In the past, Avon has been criticized for its involvement in animal testing. As public awareness of animal welfare issues grew, Avon and other cosmetics companies faced significant public outcry and pressure from animal rights organizations. In response to the controversies and shifting consumer preferences, Avon announced a commitment to phasing out animal testing for its cosmetics products in 1989. And while the company has eliminated animal testing in most regions where it operates, there are still certain countries that require mandatory animal testing for cosmetics. Avon has been navigating these complex laws of all these different countries while working towards its goal of global, cruelty-free certification. Now, coming back to Avon's model of direct selling, does it still work? The first answer that naturally comes to mind is no. I mean, most people aren't home all day long anymore, and you would imagine that no one wants or needs or has the time for a personal salesperson when everything's readily available in stores or online. However, according to recent statements from Avon's representatives, this selling model is still relevant for the company, but they do seem to recognize that the beauty industry is rapidly evolving, and so is the significance of e-commerce and digital platforms. Avon now has websites and mobile apps that allow customers to browse through and purchase its products online. The company has also ramped up its digital marketing efforts and social media presence, which it uses to engage with its community of representatives and customers. Apart from providing the option for online shopping and marketing its products online, the company has also developed digital tools and resources for its sales representatives to help them manage their businesses more efficiently. So overall, it seems like Avon has been proactive in keeping up with digital trends and technological advancements. Let's not forget that this company began in the 1880s. The fact that it is still relevant shows us that it has been able to adapt and evolve with the changing times. In my opinion, it'll be interesting to see what the company eventually does with its direct selling model, as most people still associate Avon with its Avon ladies and door-to-door -door sales. How long will it work out for the company? And will it eventually have to let go of this business model? Only time will tell. What do you think? Would you want a salesperson to knock on your door and personally demonstrate and recommend products to you? Does that sound like a great personalized customer experience to you? Or do you simply not have time for it? We'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Comment below and let us know. Also, tell us what other companies you want us to cover. And maybe we'll make a video on that next. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on some of your favorite companies. And hit that bell icon so that you're notified every time we drop a fresh video. See you next time.